students today's video is about how you should study for economics honors it's a very important thing and uh, remember that one of the most complicated honors we say like physics chemistry but i would say economics is among the complicated but yet one of the most effective with respect to present situation why because it's a kind of honors where you are studying mathematics economics and statistics all together with the same level okay in no other honors these things come so parallelly more than one subjects together i'm not talking about any ancillary or any past papers i'm just talking about the honor structure now honors is sometimes called a major or whatever it is so remember that if you are studying with respect to this subject then a lot of different kind of thing is coming to your mind which books to study so this video i'm going to explain that what is your way of thinking should be the first of all is how to study most of you do not have economics in um, class 11 class 12 and now you are deciding whether to go for economics or not because i don't have it right now those who have already decided to go uh, for economics honors for example or you have taken admission so they are also thinking i will take 11 12 uh, economics so what you should do so then i can give you some names uh, some big like paul krugman like amartya uh, sen and nilsson and even uh, a lot a lot of and even this year even this year if you talk about uh, robert wilson and paul milgram uh, then uh, mr paul milgram actually had a degree in statistics and later he came to the world of economics okay so a lot of people and if you want to include me i also didn't have a economics in class 11 and 12 uh, so what actually made me study is uh, the wackiness and the coolness of the subject well no because of vastness and a lot of different things and i was interested in maths and statistics from the beginning so let's explore how the entire economy works that was my prime idea things are working people are doing but what is actually happening that no one is understanding okay how is the money is printed how what is this reported about what the banking what the chartered accountants are doing why this law what the taxation rules what is the subsidy all these things can i understand and my answer is okay let's study economics honors so if you are thinking in that way as well so don't worry whether you have it in 11 or 12 and if you think if you and for those who already have it well that is not much of your benefit only in the micro and macro there will be you know the basic terms but the application oriented a lot of things are there so you are not at a very cushioned uh, uh, scenario right now okay So now the second thing comes to your mind, which books? In colleges, mostly uh, professors prefer foreign author books. They will go for for microeconomics. They will go for Pindai and Rubenfeld. Sometimes they go for uh, the most favorite is Ferguson Gold and Mandela Miller. So this is the book I was also prescribed in my college days in the very first year. But I wouldn't ask you to go for that. Why? because in these two books ferguson gold and mandela miller mandela miller don't have a single exercise and ferguson gold have some exercises but the standard is not very much up to the mark so which one to start with we are because your building blocks will be with respect to micro so first i would ask you to read a very normal common book written by man q that is principles of economics in indian author if you want to say something you can go for uh, h l abuja's micro economic theory Okay, these are the two ones for complete theory. Whether you are in honors, general, pass, major, doesn't matter. In microeconomics, so the second part comes in whether these books have uh, exercises or not. Answers a lot, a lot of exercises are there. And fortunately, Mankiw's full exercises have solved. So you can uh, take uh, it from me as well. So it will be beneficial for you. Ahuja don't have a solution available. Okay, and that will not be required if you do it from here. Second thing is, after finishing off from here, then which book to go? Then is Pindai, Rubinfeld. If you are having an Indian edition, then Pindai, Rubinfeld, and Mehta. Okay, so uh, in the latest book, only the difference between foreign and Indian uh, uh, edition is the names have been changed. Ron have been changed to Ram. Ria has been uh, changed to uh, sorry, uh, um, and uh, Nancy has been changed to Ria in that way. 
they have done almost the all, and all, obviously the dollars have been transformed into rupee and rest of the things are remaining the unaltered so don't worry about that you can go for a direct for another uh, one or an indian uh, version of the book as a low price edition as well if you are in delhi and kolkata there are second hand markets if you are in other states also there are some uh, shops in kanpur i have seen in mumbai i have seen in uh, chandigarh i have seen in uh, What's the name of the place? In uh, Bhopal, I have seen. So these places I have been, I have seen. Okay. So uh, rest of the place, if you are from other parts, uh, then it is not very easy to get it, but you still can get it. Obviously, nowadays PDFs are available. If you want the PDF, I can help you with. All you have to do is just ping me to the WhatsApp number given, and I will send it to you. So this is the first part. The second and the third level is Kuch Swayanis. K O U T I A S O uh, S O Y I A N N I S. Kutswani is a very classic book. A Kutswani is microeconomics. He also written a book called Econometrics. Okay, this we will be needing it later. So this is the first part. Second is macroeconomics. Again, principles of economics, chapter eleven, twelve. Ke baad se it starts from the macroeconomics segment, and the second thing again. Uh, H. L. Abuja's economic theory will be very much useful. See, I am just mentioning the name on because I found these books easier. So, if you have any other book like Emil Chingan, this is also good. But this is not complete analysis; is not been provided over there. I've read all these things, so that's why I am giving you this uh, suggestion. Okay. After doing that, Mankiw has a book called Macroeconomics itself. So, after principles of economics, you learn the very basic, and then you can jump into. macroeconomics book okay so these are the three books which will be helpful to you then you go for a theoretical perspective which is called branson very classic this also doesn't have any exercises but it has a lot of lot of good diagrammatic reports especially in the islm the four quadrant diagrams are classic you may need uh, two or three sleepless nights to understand but once you understand it's heaven in your hands okay and uh, then there is a less david roma you can go for a lot of books are there i'm just talking about in this video the basic ones mathematical economics one and only alpha c chiang and then hanson point and after that silverberg you can uh, write this names later on silverberg is not silver gold silver not that one it is s i l b r b r g okay full name eugene silverberg the pdf of this book is rarely available but i have it you can have it from me but uh, i would prefer to do these from a uh, printed book okay because uh, in mathematics you know a lot of concepts you have to do a lot of writing so every time do it from a pdf for a indian student or a foreign student even same issues occur okay third uh, is uh, for statistics obviously uh, availability of the books of statistics is really bad Okay, Scarborough statistics is good. Angida statistics is good. Uh, recently, Magrill has taken the book and it is available. And uh, Kapoor uh, Saxena is also has done a good job. But my personal preference is, uh, if you ask me, uh, but actually it is studied by the honors uh, students mostly in, in statistics. That is Gupta and Kapoor. Gupta and Kapoor done a very very great job in their work. Okay, uh, and along with that, there are two books: Fundamentals of Mathematical Statistics and Applied Statistics. By these two, this will save your day. Okay, and recently they have uh, published uh, a solution book for the first parts, first ten chapters as well, which is available on any uh, online sites that you can take it as well. The PDF version of Gupta Kapoor's books are available. Not with me, but I have seen those uh, books are available. I don't have it right now, so I can't send it to you. But you can uh, check it out on internet or any other site. Okay, uh, so you can buy it from there. So this is the fourth part done. Now comes the fifth part. In later uh, studies, when to study mathematics, depending on the syllabus of your college, sometimes a comprehensive book will be useful. But I would recommend a different book for differential calculus, integral calculus, or algebra, higher algebra, linear algebra. In this segment wise, if you go for a book, then it will be beneficial. Remember that for mathematical economics, maths may which parts are very important? First is differentiation. Second one is integration. In a little bit of differential equation, no integration will be. 
just for the sake of differential equation you need to do that and there will be uh, some problems on consumer surplus which is useful that you can do these are the four types and and and, and yes another important uh, part you need to know which you already it is expected that you know a little bit of logarithm so you need to know logarithm exponential the series kind of the how the diagrams are being done these are after this we can go to international economics in international economics really there is a very good book uh, so i would recommend an indian book written by shampad mukherjee okay so it's available from new central uh, book agency it's in uh, kolkata and uh, mumbai and delhi everywhere available it's a very good book he has written along with that case frankel jones and krupman for oxpel these are very common references but i would go ask you to go for krupman and oxpel and the solution manual is also available on internet you can download so these are the parts in the other segments are also there development economics is also there in development economics again sapad mukherjee has written a very classy book along with that a development economics related book is also written by um, hl abuja but if you want to do a elaborate analysis then obviously thawal is has written a very good book and todaro smith but if you compare between todaro smith and thawal then i would go for ask you to go for todaro and smith and nowadays internet is there in my time uh, we, we didn't have that much of luxury for going for internet and cross checking uh, cross referencing every time so you have that thing why don't you utilize that okay so these are about this now comes the third part preparation remember that in the preparatory part you need to practice a lot need to check out you and uh, along with that i would ask you to read some magazines like the economist Uh, obviously we can't buy that because three hundred rupees for uh, magazine it's very costly. So you can go to again your local areas for the second hand magazine stores. From there you can collect it. You can do it an online subscription and every day if it is possible. Uh, can you can you just spend sixty rupees per month? No, sorry, ninety rupees per month. Three rupees is the price for uh, the Economic Times. That's a very classy newspaper. And every Sunday, and let me just show you one thing. Every Sunday, the ma they actually make it a Economic Times magazine. For this one week, they have an operation of operation uh, classroom, and there's an explanation, and a lot of extra things are there. And every time you need to, uh, you get to understand what is happening in the world. So Economic Times is very good. Business Standard is also nice, but that is little bit about. Uh, Um, how to invest and all this. This is also about that in the Monday to Saturday version, but it has its class. And with respect to total viewership, also this is the number one magazine as well. So this is a very good one. You should go for that. And another one is uh, every day you need to spend around fifteen to twenty minutes on Wikipedia or internet or YouTube uh, to search about what is happening and different kind of things. And whenever you get stuck. you can ask me but ask your professors at college be the most curious student be the most most curious student who always ask questions ke teacher ko dar lage are again that boy is coming that girl is coming oh she she will she will or he will kill me with the questions but remember that there may be one or two professors who may scold you but rest of the people are like uh, darling okay so they always want someone like you and me who come and ask irritating question every time idiotic question every time and uh, they just uh, answer happily i just try to be like them it's very hard for me as well i sometimes get angry as well uh, but over the time if you never feel uh, scared about asking so that is a very very good characteristic i uh, i got a rare luxury to meet omrit shain mr omrit shain uh, obviously that is sir uh, at university uh, level so they they always share this thing that uh, life is like a set theory and it depends how you form your uh, set okay by choosing what kind of elements so economics owners asking and giving you the opportunity to go for it okay there will be a many many other questions which i haven't managed to cover in this very small video so it is now your turn to ask me the questions freely if you can't write it in the youtube if you feel shy you can directly whatsapp to me if you feel uh, if you are courageous and you can give me a call as well i'm just a call or a sms or a message away so thank you for watching and uh, time to say goodbye thank you